Okay, here we go. Um, this is the Ubuntu 13.04 installed on the main system on a hard drive, a separate hard drive. And the bootloaders on the same hard drive was installed Ubuntu, so it's separate from uh, any Windows installation, so it doesn't interfere if I have to reinstall or whatever. Uh, so, I've been spending hours, it's late now, uh, configuring this, and good news in a lot of ways, um, from what I can see, uh, is uh, installing the proprietary uh, drivers in my case ETI um, under the software and updates still there. I wish they had a separate hardware device, but anyway, so additional drivers, zoom in, right. Proprietary FGLRX. And I restarted the computer, logged in, and no problems. I have Compiz turned on. Uh, I haven't messed around too much with the effects, but you can see I have the zoom and some transparency when I move. Uh, the HI drivers aren't quite there yet, so I had to just uh, go down to one display because uh, the scaling's off. And, uh, this is a funny one. Maybe there's a, I don't know, this is still alpha, so if I type in sudo ati on fig initial, password, of course, no adopters, <laughs> uh, but it's working anyway. So the usual stuff, I, I just I just went kind of crazy and installed all kinds of things. Uh, VLC, Trans, Megagun, whatever it's called, trans, Video Transcoder, Arista. I uh, put the startup applications um, with the extra, I can't remember the command now, stuff. And uh, weather's working. The indicator works fine, hasn't crashed. Uh, I have uh, Dropbox installed. And a new one is Ubuntu One now has its own indicator, and what's recently been updated and you turn it on off. You can open your local folder, go to the website, share a file. There's the website there. So, um, I guess open Ubuntu One would be this here on the side. And same as before in the software center. Actually, what I really like. <clears throat> it's a nice little transition it has when you uh, do the snap. You can see a nice little animation come out. Uh, so yeah, as before, Unity. I uh, was able to remove the Amazon uh, search lens and uh, Ubuntu One Music Store. I don't need that either. And as I said earlier, it didn't, uh, on subsequent, subsequent reboots, it doesn't show up in the uh, sidebar here. Um, there's other lenses, I don't know what you can get. Uh, now, before I tried the social no. Okay, let me. Okay, there it is. So you have to basically set up your online accounts for that social thing to at least show up in the dash. So again, uh, uh, system settings, you just set up your online accounts. Good news so far is under the messaging, Empathy's fine, Thunderbird works, and Gwibber seems to be working in both Twitter and Facebook. Uh, now when you add a new player, such as Clementine, uh, it will show up, so no more, hopefully no more messing around with the, with that deconf config settings. Uh, FFmpeg I installed uh, through the command line. That's what I'm using to record this, and uh, that worked out really well. 
Um, I'm getting along a little better with uh, Nautilus. For example, if uh, say if you had FFmpeg, I'm going to compact these later, but you can go to this button here and bookmark this location. And under the home folder under bookmarks, you can sort of rearrange them or remove. So at least I got that under control. And another one too was um, if I right click on documents or say downloads or let's use something that's not uh, X264, um, open a new tab. So that's kind of handy. And you can like drag into the home folder, which I'm not going to, so that kind of makes up a little bit for the uh, split view F3, even though I like that quite a bit. And as I said before in the last video, I installed uh, Synaptic, and so I got Open Terminal here and a new document um, setting from uh, Arch Linux Wiki. Uh, everything else is uh, running really well. It, it does seem to boot a little faster. Um, so far, anyway. Uh, it reboots like it's, uh, you know, its reboot routine is much, much quicker than before. I'm still having issues with uh, recording audio in either also or Pulse Audio, and trying to install OSS is probably impossible at this point. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, See the bookmarks are down here, the ones that you add. So I've added the scripts, Dropbox, and Ubuntu one. And uh, if you right-click applications, again you can search for something that uh, you might want to AVI, Dmux, and you click it. Just click that once, and it gives you a little preview. You can go to the developer's website. Uh, this is version whatever 2.5. I think there's a 2.6 out in Windows, but uh, for some reason, um, for some reason, the uh, Linux version is not updated. Um, I look at the Qt one. Yeah, it's the same 2.5.4. So simple enough. Uh, if I wanna just download and uh, you'll get your administrative prompt authenticate and there it is there waiting to install in Firefox under add-ons plugins extensions last one I disabled the let's see this here Zoom in. Uh, I disable the Unity website integration. So when you visit uh, YouTube or something or what, any site that has that enabled, it won't pop up and ask you. Because I like the idea, but as far as the way it's working right now is every time you open a web app, I guess, uh, it opens a new browser window. I'd rather have it open a new tab. Then I'd be more... I'd more likely use it. Uh, but yeah, so plugins, usual stuff. I installed the uh, Ubuntu Extras, Flash, and stuff. Languages is weird. <laughs> I don't know why it does this. It's been doing this for so long now. English, Great Britain, Language Pack. I don't need either or South. I don't need these, so I'll just disable them. And then I get uh, the. Uh, English US spell checker because it's more universal. But, and as before, uh, it's Firefox 19.0. And so I haven't even opened Office yet. I don't really use it <coughs> personally. And again, about. Yeah, it's still beta 2. And the kernel. Linux kernel is uh, 3.8, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it was updated Thursday, February 28th, 2013. Uh, it's 64-bit GNU Linux. So that's, uh, I thought you should know. So it's 3.8.0-9 generic. So it was updated to very recently, even though the date is there. Well, that's not that long ago either. And this is a daily build. I, I, ran, I downloaded brand new daily ISO. And so we have AVI DMOX installed. And that's, yeah, 2.5.4, which is nothing's wrong with it. Just the 2.6 has some a little more streamlined and different options than that I'd be interested in. A uh, little heavy on the RAM, although I've been doing a lot of stuff. Right now it's 1.6 gigs being used, but I have 12 gigs, so I don't really care that much. Swap, I just left as a small swap space. See, it's a little busy now because I'm recording sound and uh, video. File system, did the same thing. I put my home folder as XFS and extension 4. Maybe that's what's helping the boot up. I don't know. And again, the other information tab here at the le left is gone. The last tab is processes. And if you look here about this computer, it's a little, it's not quite the same. That's under details and all settings and details, same thing. I did install the a different icon set. I forget the name of it. Um, I think that's pretty much all I can cover. But I, as far as stability, it's way more stable than 12.10. No more apt, uh, whatever that bug thing, report thing. Uh, Compiz seems pretty stable. Um, I haven't had a crash from that yet. And uh, Google Chrome was easy enough to install from the website. You just download the, the buy-in package and install it through whatever you wish, the Ubuntu software center. And it runs fine. I don't know what version it is. I'll open it up. Uh, uh, about Chrome. So, oh, 25. That's, that's, that's pretty close, right? 25? That's the latest one. Anyway, yeah. Kind of neat. Like I said, I haven't done too much with Compiz. I do have some uh, hot corners enabled. So I open the uh, home folder and we'll open Chrome again. And we'll open system monitor and we'll open system settings. And if I hover somewhere, there we go. Top right, I have a selector here. So... Firefox. Uh, top, no, I mean bottom right, that gives you the uh, expo or whatever. Can't remember the name of it. The uh, workspace switcher, basically. And the bottom right, show desktop. And I set a delay of about 300 uh, milliseconds or so. So, Pretty much the same thing uh, as I discussed in the previous video, which is like a day ago. <laughs> but I, I was eager to try this on a live system because I kept reading and seeing things that uh, it's more stable in alpha than Ubuntu 12.10 was. So I think the comments are proving to be true. Like I said, I haven't had a crash. It seems to boot quicker. Uh, when it reboots, it drops system, um, not system resources, but uh, anything running, it drops them really fast, and uh, you get back to the boot screen really quickly. Okay, I think that's about it. I don't know if I'm going to upload this or not. It might be a little long-winded and kind of boring, but if I do, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.